Welcome back to SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 General Manager Mode. I am your host, Attack Slug. We are now 18% on the way towards GM of the Year awards. We are just after our pay-per-view of the Great American Bash. Let's see where the roster is currently standing at in terms of contracts. We have myself and Helms in a month. In terms of morale... We have some unsatisfied uh, superstars here, and Taker wants a title opportunity. And we have our injuries, which is uh, Booker is out for a week, and Cena is out for four weeks, heading towards SummerSlam. And of course, my fatigue level for Cena and Austin after Hell in a Cell, it's a lot. It's a lot. So also Sandman feeling the effects of that tag team matchup. I think it was a TLC deal. On that, so yes, uh, all kinds of fatigue on this roster need to take things somewhat lighter on the show today. And also, let's see, on our Power 25, it was Matt and Jeff Hardy needed to have their self get boosted here. So Matt and Jeff and also I think myself. So that's kind of the deal there is they got to get popped up in the rankings. So what was their... Fatigue level, I've already forgotten. Uh, Matt, Matt Hardy is at 2 and Jeff is at 0. So 2 dates for Jeff and 1 for Matt Hardy. So we are currently on a Tuesday here in Kansas City. So we'll get our 1 date for Matt Hardy here. And there it is, don't tell Rebby. Slapping that tornado, plus 5 for Matt. And then we have 2 days for the charismatic Enigma doing his thing. Don't tell Beth uh, for Jeff Hardy. So here we go. Plus five, plus eight. Big success for Jeff Hardy, which puts him and Matt on the roster. Currently, let's sort it here at, we got, all right, 90s. And then we got Matt and Jeff at 79 and 84, respectively. So get them up to the 90s and we'll be good on that, hopefully. We'll see. But... Current champions, it is Austin, it is Edge, it is Mysterio, and it is Randy Sandman. And that thing needs to end, I think, at some point here and have the Hardy Boys challenge. But I don't want to have them feud with Randy Sandman here, so that's going to be interesting. But also, we have an open spot now in our rivalries, because everything else should be ending soon. Randy Sandman... Says six weeks, and it is a nine-week feud. We had those injuries that pushed it back beyond where it should have been. But this one here with Edge and Booker, we should be done. That says nine. That says nine. So I'm not sure what to do there. Well, I guess we're going to book the same thing this week and see how things go. But we have an open spot here. So our open spot. Can we do Battle of the Titans at a four-star and run it till No Mercy and have it be Taker versus Batista. Is Batista a heel? No, he's not. All right, well, we'll turn Taker heel on this show and then book that until No Mercy. So that's the plan now for one of our spots is to book a heel turn for the Dead Man and then hop into SmackDown in Kansas City, Missouri. So on the heels of a five-star pay-per-view, here we are, and it's going to be not this match, so with injuries abound, we have to book some uh, rivalries here. Booker and Edge, like this has to end for this U.S. title. Whoever wins is fine, but it has to end on this program. That's the plan. So main event will actually be a non-title deal, and it will be a triple threat, and we're going to book Taker. We're going to book... Batista, and we're going to book Umaga. Bunch of big dudes doing thing in that triple threat. So, that being said, clear that first match here. And in promo one will be our turn for the dead man. So, Undertaker, you got to turn to be a heel. Good on you. Now again, this thing is still happening for another three or four weeks. So it's going to keep on happening, and the Sandman, though, is not doing great. So that will hopefully be regular and not cause an injury to the Sandman. We'll see. Risks are risks are risks. So 
We still have this feud running until SummerSlam, and that's fine. But also now we have a match to book in the opener. And we have, let's see, myself, we have Helms. Who else is available to work a match? Let's see if we can get three in here. So if it is a tax lug, if it is Helms, and who else is not booked here on the show? I think we're at our thing here. So it has to be a one-on-one -on -one between me and Helms. I think that's, that's going to be the case here. So let's make it just a regular one-on-one -on -one for that. So myself and Helms are there. Then Mysterio versus Matt with Jeff Hardy. Then take her, then take her turns. Then tag team action. Then Booker and Edge one final time on SmackDown. Then Cena and Stone Cold in place of a match. And then Taker, Batista, and Umaga in that main event is our card for this fine Thursday. Let's actually know before I confirm here. I missed what happened on EC Dubs this week. First of all, Raw was a four star show. ECW is a four-star show. So Michelle McCool taps out Mark Henry. Kelly Kelly beats Kenny and Candice. Carlito and Punk beat Nitro and Lashley. And HBK and Kali beat Elijah and Finley. How is this a four-star card? I don't know. I don't know. But that is our competition on the show today. So here is our show. I don't know that it's as good, but we're doing it. So... We have things to burn here and make them happen. So, that being said, Helms and Attack Slug. Slug loses to Helms. Mysterio versus Matt with Jeff in the corner. And we have Matt Hardy, still your cruiserweight champion. JTG and Shad versus Randy Orton and Sandman tag team titles. We're going to see Crime Time regaining those tag team titles, which is good. Because ideally, once this feud ends, Crime Time is still champions, and we move on with Randy and Sandman elsewhere. King Booker and Edge, the final time. The final, 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 hopefully final time. And Edge, still U.S. champion. Main event, triple threat, Taker, Batista, Umaga. Let's go. Now, this indeed, a battle of the super heavyweights. Throwing bombs, to be sure. But Dead Man coming out first, which is unusual, but he is here, the Phenom in the building on his home show, SmackDown. Get to the ring, man, and bring out your competitors, being an animal and a bulldozer. So the Phenom versus the animal versus the bulldozer is the plan for our main event, our top tier SmackDown main event. Take that, Raw. Take that, EC Dub. Batista is ready to do his bombing business. And then, yeah! Love it. Love it. And of course, the intangible here, the intangible is going to be Umaga, who was very salty, having not won a match, and then I gave him a win, and it kind of didn't matter at that point anyway because of that whole feuds shouldn't be interacting, I guess is the thing here in this game, and thumbs down from the audience who are mad at about it, but thankfully Umaga no longer mad at me and won't leave this brand. Hopefully. We'll see. But you never know who might get traded here uh, for various reasons and perhaps I could trade in Umaga for a CM Punk. That could happen. Look, man, I'm looking to take all the top tier talent put them here on SmackDown and make this show the best show in the world. Is that a time-consuming process? Sure, but we're here on YouTube doing it every day of the weekdays. And here we go on this weekday. Triple threat and Umaga immediately heads for the dead man. Batista not sure what to do with that bulldozer. And also, yes, they're taking out the top tier talent in the match, making sure that the Phenom is on his back and then they'll fight amongst themselves, I think is the plan. Man, the power of Big Dave Batista. Good lord. Into the corner. And then after Umaga. And then distracted. Don't get distracted, man. Because he'll bulldoze right through you. That's what he does. That's what he do. Umaga, just the power hitting both men. Batista bumps for it over the top rope. And now Taker wants the choke slam, But it's been, oh, kicked him right downstairs. His weakness, man. His weakness. So Umaga, front face lock on Batista. Knee to the gut, and the power 
of Umaga as the Taker looks on and just kind of ponders his future here on SmackDown. Big old soup bones hitting Umaga, who fights back, but Batista right there into that scoop slam position. Will he be able to capitalize? No. Inverted DDT to Umaga, but it shouldn't hurt him because of his hard head because he's Samoan. That's how that works, man. It's wrestling. So these three just throwing absolute bombs at each other. And I don't mean Batista bombs. I mean just them rights and lefts are huge, huge, big old meaty hands is what I'm saying to you. So Umaga doing all right so far. And then, oh, to the outside. Batista now capitalizing on Taker, clubbing four onto the back of the dead man. And Umaga already back on his feet somehow. But will we see a submission maneuver here from Dave? We will. No. It is, oh, all the way over. Yep. All right. And then Umaga takes advantage there with that just kidney punch. That's got to hurt, man. It's got to hurt. And Taker wisely, wisely avoiding... And then, it don't matter, man. Just bulldozed. Just bulldozed. Umaga with the headlock into the clothesline. Love to see it. But Taker now getting his own turn here on this train. But can Umaga actually capitalize into uh, Snake Eyes? No? Nope. He did not. Batista just standing there looking at something. I don't know what. Oh, finally, finally, hitting a, hitting a slam there on Taker. It's about time. Uppercut from Taker. One of these three men has to win this stellar SmackDown main event. But which one is it going to be? That is indeed the question. And catches them. Umaga right into it with nothing. With, bro, what was that? What was that? Dave, what was that? Into the corner. Batista overhand chops to Umaga. Just lighten him up on that chest. Good lord, it's ridiculous. And he just keeps on keeping on. And absolutely just wearing him out like a government mule. Good lord, a scalded dog and other, and other various animals at the barnyard. I don't know. The power of Big Dave. Can he press slam the dead man? It's not looking good for him. Oh, he's got him up. All the way up. All the way up. Nope. Didn't happen. Sorry. What you gonna do? And Batista. Getting head. Oh, busted open. Busted open is the animal. Bleeding like a stuck pig. The crimson mask. And now Umaga also just putting insult to injury here. He's already out, man. He's already dead. Stop. Stop. And then Batista fights back. So, it made him mad. The big swing from Umaga. Did not expect that to happen. At all. At all. So, Batista now fighting back. But nope. The Beal from Umaga. Just a dominance displayed here. And a pinfall... Two, Taker, and it's over. Mercifully, it's over. That was quite the main event. Umaga proving why he should be on top here on SmackDown. Good for him. Okay, that was our show for a Thursday and a full recovery from King Abuka. So, again, that's good, but are we still in that current... Well, let's get to Monday first. So, that was a day off. Let's head towards Raw and see in Washington, D.C. what the deal is. JBL says, hey, go in interfere. Yeah, thanks. Um, besides that, let's see where our... Okay, so that, that did finish the nine weeks of Edge and King Booker. We still have two weeks on this tag team feud. And, of course, these run until SummerSlam. So, tomorrow, going to book some new storylines is the plan for that. But also, checking on our roster here. We have, in terms of uh, fatigue, Cena and Sandman are up there in terms of fatigue. They are recovering slightly. 
And of course, Cena has uh, a couple weeks here on injury still. In terms of morale, Batista, Jeff, Booker, Randy, and Taker. And we know Taker wants that title shot, but everybody else wants them renegotiations for their contracts, which is fine. We'll get there eventually, don't you worry. But Taker wants some gold, so perhaps tomorrow, on Friday, we can actually book Taker and the current U.S. champion before we actually get into that feud being set up for the new U.S. title feud. So that's kind of the deal there. Our current champions are Austin Edge, uh, Matt Hardy, and Crime Time. And we currently also have now in the Power 25, actually first, dot com. Match of the week was Edge. No fan change whatsoever. ECW gets a four-star show. Raw gets a four-star show. In SmackDown, please be four. At least, at least. Yeah, all right, four. I'll take it. Match of the week. So kudos on that. Fans, 3.1 million for ECW. Raw has 3.0. And SmackDown has, has 2.92. So I don't get it. I don't get it. Fan support, big spike on pay-per-view and then back down to where we were on that line. It's, man, it's rough. It's rough. But Power 25 is Austin, Edge and Randy Orton, Carlito, John Cena, William Regal, Taker, Batista, sh Crime Time, and then we got to build up Ray and Booker have gone down, so Ray and Booker need some boosting there, and the Hardy Boys. So, you know, that is our Thursday show I thank you for hanging out and watching. One more for the week here is tomorrow, and it should be interesting, so tune in for that. I'm Attack Slug. See you next time, and I'm out.